By the way, now, all right, knock off the rhythmic applauding. <laughs> By the way, ladies and gentlemen, these are actual letters from home viewers just like yourselves. Now, you might want to sit very close to the TV because tonight there's an excellent possibility that one of these letters we're going to answer, we're going to answer four of them tonight, may be from you. The possibility, by the way, I don't want to get your hopes up too high, the possibility is virtually non-existent. <laughs> you know, mathematically speaking, <laughs> statistically speaking. <laughs> really, if you look at it, there's not a chance in hell. <laughs> Our first letter begins, uh, Dear Dave, oh, 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 I forget, forgive, forgive me, I forget. And now the ceremonial presentation of tonight's letters. Letter number one. Letter number one. Thank you, Paul. Letter number Thank one. Thank you very much, Ellen. That's, that's the ceremonial presentation of the letters. Dear Dave, I have always wondered uh, what the back of your desk looks like. Just wondering, uh, Corey Thompson from Denver, Colorado. Uh, this is a, a good question. We really haven't had this question before, and uh, it may be kind of tough to get back here. Uh, Joe, bring the camera over here, and we'll see. It's, uh, it's hard to get a shot of what this. See, it's, uh, it's a stuffing. I'm sitting in nice, warm, leftover stuffing. That's what's behind the desk there. I yeah, oh yeah, I enjoy it. It's really nice, and it's, it's much less expensive than pants. Okay, that was just a test letter to give you an idea how this goes. That won't count on your final okay. score. That's just an example to give you an idea how it works. You see, letter number one, that's a throwaway. We're not counting on that. We have nothing riding on number one. It's a little test. It's that's a little icebreaker. You know what I'm saying? Here now is where the real fun begins. Letter number two. Letter number two. Thank you, Paul. Letter Very nicely number done. two. Thank you, Alan. Very nicely done as well. Once again, the ceremonial presentation of the letters. And now this is our first real letter of the night. Uh, dear Dave, I do a 30-minute talk show for my TV productions class. Do you know of any cool guests I can book? Uh, this comes to us from uh, a young broadcasting student, Amanda Parr. Walcottville, uh, Indiana. Uh, thank you very much for the letter, Amanda. And, uh, you know, I think I do. I think I have got a great guest for you. Uh, it's the security device that protects my office. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice welcome for the Living Club? Come on in here. <laughs> the, Living Club, the Living Club, nice. Nice to see you again, Living Club. Well, thank you, David. You know, I'd like to wish everyone a secure and burglary-free holiday season. Well, that's very nice. I certainly appreciate the thought. Now, thank so, the uh, letter here from Amanda in Indiana wants to know if you'd consider uh, being a guest on a high school talk show in Indiana. <laughs> sure. Like, I'm going to fit on an airplane. But, you know, if I may, uh -huh. I'd like to say a few inspirational words to the high school kids. Oh, by all means, go right ahead. Kids... Get that diploma, or you'll end up a big, useless freak like me. The Living Club, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Eight hundred bucks for the damn costume and worth every penny. Oh, Am I right? Man. Absolutely. All right. Letter number two was only a test as well. I see. <clears throat> Letter number two didn't count. Letter number one didn't count. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now we're getting to the comedy gold. True. It's true stuff. We're in business now. Here we go. This is official stuff Let's here. Let's go. All right. And now, the ceremonial presentation of the letters. Okay. Letter number three. Letter number three. Thank you, Paul. Letter Lovely number job. three. And thank you as well, Alan. I appreciate all of your support. Dear thank Dave, you. I am a fan of yours. Oh, thank you very much. And would like to eat the official Dave Letterman sandwich. Uh, this comes to us from uh, Steve Chaddock, uh, Long Island City. Uh, good question, uh, Steve. Um, I think the only place that really is serving a Dave Letterman sandwich is right around the corner out there on 53rd Street in uh, Rupert G's Hello Deli. Rupert, are you out there? Hi. Are you, are Hi, right, Dave. Rupert, how are you? How are you doing? Rupert, we have a... Uh, Thank you. We have a question here about the Dave Letterman sandwich from Steve uh, Chaddock, and as I recall, I believe that sandwich actually contains Chaddock, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rupert, are you still selling the celebrity sandwiches? Oh, well, yes, I yeah, am. Yeah, let me Dave. see the menu board. Where is it? Right there. Right there. Okay, there you have the uh, Dave Letterman sandwich, CBS Orchestra sandwich, the Biff Henderson sandwich. Oh, Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. Uh, is he one of your new celebrity customers? No, he's my new cook. Right, Jerry? That's right, Rupert. Uh, by the way, can I take my break now? No, it's not. You get back to work, you pinhead. <laughs> Attaboy, Rupert. See you later. <laughs> uh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you're scoring at home, and I know you are, we're 0 for 3. <laughs> Letter number four. Letter number four. Thank you very Letter much, Paul. Thank four. you very much, Alan. Very nicely done. You guys do such a great job. Let's go around again. What do you say? Letter number sure. four. Letter number four. Excellent Letter job. number four. Thank you very much, Alan. Letter number four. Let's Letter go the other four. way. Letter number, Letter number four. four. Letter number 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 four. Great. Number four. Sounds to me like we're ready for takeoff. Let's go. <laughs> All systems go. <laughs> now it gets a laugh. <laughs> Dear Dave, Christmas is December 25th. Just a reminder, your pal uh, Alex. Well, thank you very much, Alex. I think we all know that. And uh, as you know, uh, today, today is traditionally the first day of the Christmas season. And because of that, we have planned a very special holiday treat for you and your family. Do me a favor, ladies and gentlemen. Please say hello to Peggy, the foul-mouthed scenic designer. Peggy? It was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Excuse me, excuse me, Peggy? I'm yes, sorry, David. Peggy. Uh, aren't you supposed to go nuts and start screaming obscenities? I'm not going to swear in the middle of a f***ing Christmas story. <laughs> Kiss my ass, you little f***ing. 